Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, what is this? I went to the Dollar Tree, which, okay. But another video, and it's not taking like three or four months. What is this? I'm like a new person, huh? But I know I need to get better with posting and I'm going to, I promise, I promise, I promise. So let me know down below anything that you guys wanna say, um, like any kind of content that you guys wanna see, whether it be a walkthrough of a store or a shop with me or, I don't know, whatever you guys want to see, just um, let me know down below in the comments. But I do have um, a short, sweet Dollar Tree haul, nothing too new, but there are a couple of new things that I'm, one of the things I'm pretty excited about. It's a very boring thing, but I'm excited about it because it's pretty and us girls like pretty things. So <laughs> without going too much further, let's jump into it. I picked up a tried and true favorite from the Dollar Tree. I don't see these very much often anymore, um, but we love them. And they are the Jennifer Gardens Spring Rolls. They used to have 10 in here, now it's eight. And the price went up. Uh, it kills me almost to shop at the Dollar Tree. How about everybody else? Like, is it just me? Because I know that you can get some of this stuff at Walmart for like 98 cents or a dollar. This you can't. I haven't seen this anywhere but the Dollar Tree, to be honest. But I know a lot of things you can go to Walmart for and Walmart is like in the same parking lot as Dollar Tree for me. I know for others it's not and you have to drive all the way across town or then I can understand just get it at the Dollar Tree. Save yourself some time, some sanity, some gas. Um, but for me it's like right across the parking lot. So <laughs> it just kills me sometimes to buy some of the stuff. And knowing that they have the same stuff now that they did before like those little wooden signs or the little decorations or... I don't know, just like their brand of stuff that's still pretty crappy and the price has gone up 25 cents. I know I shouldn't complain. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's move on. You don't want to hear me complain. Anyway, <laughs> so I picked up two of those and we like them. I use these when I make um, either like a Chinese dinner or something like that. I just find recipes online and I'll make them at home. So I picked up two of those and I gotta get those in the freezer because they're pretty squishy. It's been a while. It's been a hot day. <laughs> it was like 93 here today, I think. So it's definitely been a hot one. <laughs> they weren't in the car that long, but when it's this hot, I, the car is how much hotter. It, it doesn't take long. <laughs> Anyways, I also picked up a bag of rice. This is a two pound, I believe. Yes, a two pound bag of rice. So I picked that up because I needed some of that. And I still think even for $1.25, that's a pretty good deal. So unless you're going to like Sam's Club, if you have a membership or something, then yeah, I would get my rice there. But um, I forgot to pick it up when I was at Sam's. I did also go to Sam's today, um, but I did not pick up rice there. I went in to make a return and to pick something else up. Um, yeah, so I just didn't get rice there. So I got it at Dollar Tree, still a good deal for two pounds. Next up, I got one of these. These are Icy's Cherry Frost. It's a, an Icy Slush. And these are pretty cool. You just put them in the freezer, let them get uh, semi-frozen. I think you throw them in there for like an hour. Um, squish them up a little bit, give them a little squeezy squeeze, and then enjoy. My daughter loves these. I also do this with like juice pouches sometimes, like the Capri Suns or the Kool-Aid Jammers or something like that. So, but this was... $1.25 obviously and then we went to Walmart and I ended up finding them for 98 cents and I believe I picked one up th from there and I forgot to show you that could also be in with the bag if you caught my Walmart haul then you know that I left the bag in my friend's car so that could have been in that bag because <laughs> I haven't seen it <laughs> um anyways next up sticking with the food kind of and the snacks we found this lunchables cookie dunks mini chocolate chip cookies with marshmallow cream and sprinkles that looked pretty good it reminds me of dunkaroos but if i mean it's a lot bigger but that's pretty cool so got that for my daughter so she could try that she's our resident cookie monster <laughs> um i also picked up two of these oreo cakesters the other one's floating around here somewhere but we do have two of these um and these are like six dollars in the store for a box of like four i think i could be wrong but they're two packs so this isn't too bad, $1.25 for three. So I picked that up. Um, then I picked up these Magical Pizza Gummies. I don't like gummies, but guys, these are so good. I don't know why. Like, I don't like Haribo gummies. I just think gummies are gross, but these are good. Like, 
I don't know what they'd be putting in these, but they really are magic. <laughs> they are so good. They're strawberry, orange, green apple, blue raspberry, and grape. And they have a cream soda crust from what that so oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. So got these. They're good. We enjoy these for movie night and stuff like that. Next up we have I don't know where to go because there's so much stuff <laughs> okay we picked up this box of oatmeal um this is the Ralston Foods so this is not a Dollar Tree brand we got the fruit and cream variety pack with the strawberries and cream and the peaches and cream we like having that for breakfast so I picked that up and then for lunch I found something new it's a name brand they only had two left and yes I got both my daughter is uh, a pizza junkie she absolutely loves her pizza so when i saw this i had to get it i had to i couldn't help it <laughs> this is the annie's brand cheesy pizza pasta it's wheat and pea pasta and cheese i don't know how this is going to be we're like veggie junkies over here i mean you've seen my other hauls where i have like tons of produce and stuff like that and the haul that i just did if you didn't see that make sure you go check that out but I just did pretty much like a produce haul from Walmart where I picked up um, a bunch of veggies. Not as much as I would have liked to, but I knew they were going to sit in the car for a bit. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, we love our junkies, our, uh, our junkies, our veggies. And there's a third cup of hidden veggies per serving. So if you have a picky eater in your home, this is perfect to get some veggies in your kid. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> um, next up, uh, the last food item, I believe. Yes, the last food item that I have are these Warhead Extreme Sours. I did not get these for me. I did not get these for my daughter. I got them for my friend. A friend of mine absolutely loves these. So, I didn't just get one. I didn't really just get two. And I didn't really just get three. Yep. Got four. She loves these things. And they don't, I haven't seen these in the regular store. If you have, comment down below and let me know where you can get these. Because I've only seen them in the Dollar Tree so far. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, even if they were to be somewhere else, I'm pretty sure $1.25 is probably the best price that you're going to find on these. Um, because, I mean, candy is expensive when it's like this in a little container. So, um yeah i don't know but uh let me know down below if you've seen them anywhere else because it would be nice to have another option than dollar tree because only one of my dollar trees out of the like six that i can go to have these um and the dollar tree that i went to today was not one of them i went to the one in dixon city here in pennsylvania um they don't usually have these but they did this time so I, that's why i grabbed four of them i usually go to the one in vestal new york but um they didn't have any last time we were there so what i saw them this time I stocked up a little bit on them for her. Next up, I have these LA Colors artificial nail tips. My daughter likes doing her nails and the girly girly stuff. <laughs> so we picked these up for her. They are purple and they have like a silver glitter ombre effect. Um, and I have nail glue and stuff like that. I've been um, trying to do my own nails, which it's time again but uh yeah <laughs> so i have plenty of nail glue we didn't need any of that so i picked these up for her she picked those out herself and what i forgot to include in my walmart haul was a pair that she had also seen there that i had picked up so she got these at dollar tree the la colors and then at walmart she found these kiss gel fantasy nails these are so stinking pretty obviously i mean she's nine years old I'm not going to let her just wear them like this. They're too long. She's not used to it. I don't need her to rip off a, her fingernail or <laughs> anything like that. And I will use glue to put these on just because those little sticky tabs, I don't know. They don't really do much in my opinion. They don't stay on. They pop right off. So I'd rather her be able to wear them for a couple of days, especially, I mean, these were $8 a pack, which I guess is not that bad. It's definitely better than going to the nail salon and spending, um, it's like 45 here. Um, well, it's 40 for me to have her nails done and she only gets them painted. She doesn't get tips or anything like that because again, she's nine. Um, I'm sorry. She's 10. Wow. She's 10. <laughs> she just turned 10 this past April, but yes, she is 10 years old. So I don't let her do the acrylic and everything just yet. Um, 
but the last time I picked up nails like this, they just um, popped right off when I use the tab. So I do use glue and they still, they come off a lot easier than acrylic will. Let's just say that, but they still stay on there for quite a while. So anyway, so <laughs> I picked these up for her and I love these. It has like the ombre look here. And I just, uh, they're really, really pretty. And there's some glitter accent nails in here. And then you have the holographic looking ones in here. And she just, she loved them. She had to have them. So I picked those up for her at Walmart. Again, this was not Dollar Tree. This was Walmart. Although I know Dollar Tree in some areas, they do have some name brand nails, but this was not from Dollar Tree. Um, we don't seem to have the Dollar Trees that have like the nicer stuff. I don't know why. We just, we don't get um stuff like that i see everybody on here doing um dollar tree hauls and they have like all this name brand stuff and all this makeup and all this really cool stuff and we just never see it but it is what it is um so yes we got these at walmart and she needed a new pair of scissors so i picked up these westcott scissors for her they are not kid scissors these are regular scissors they are medium weight i guess I don't know is that the weight of what it can take i don't know for po poster boards fabric and layers of paper so i guess so that's what it can handle seven inch scissors they're glittery they have um a glittery pink candle so she picked those out she's been needing scissors for a while i keep forgetting because it's not something that you usually just buy when you're out it's not like a common thing to buy so i kept forgetting but she was with me today and she saw them so we grabbed those i also picked up this exfoliating bath cloth i love this because when like i have a hook in the shower like a suction cup kind of hook in the shower so i just hook it up there and um yeah i mean it's pretty abrasive at first but once you use it a couple times it's not as abrasive and it's like a washcloth on the other side i don't know i love it for a dollar 25 i mean why not that's what those better bath poofs go for actually they go for like two dollars so why not just spend a dollar 25 and be a little bit happier with it i think i don't know so i yeah i picked that up and we have a few more things here my daughter like i said she was with me and she found this notebook by crown jewels i believe yes crown jewels and she wanted this for just like she likes to have a notebook she's homeschooled right now and she likes to have a notebook next to her laptop so that she can you know for like math and figuring out math problems and or she just needs to write something down so we picked up this for her and when you open it up i love these pages they're so pretty there's flowers ah i don't know if you can really see that hold on one second i'm sorry i'm working one-handed here <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's flowers on the pages. That is so cool on all the pages. And they had different kinds. You just have to go through them. I think these have been out for a while. Um, the Dollar Tree I went to today, I haven't been to in a while. Um, so I don't really know. Like, I don't shop at Dollar Tree too often anymore, to be honest. But um, yeah, so I don't, I, I know these have been out for a while because I've seen YouTubers hauling them and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, my daughter wanted one, so I got it. Next up, I picked up some gas relief, um, self-explanatory. <laughs> and last up, this is one thing I'm like the most excited about. Like, you know, you're an adult when you get excited over things that are not exciting. Am I right? I mean, come on. So I picked up, we're always like losing cups and stuff and I don't know where they go to. It's kind of like silverware. Like I've lost glasses. I bought dollar tree glasses because like i said we've lost them so i'm not gonna spend a whole bunch of money on good glasses i mean the ones that i've gotten from dollar tree are good they're very strong but they disappear like where are they going are they hiding out with like tupperware containers that don't have a matching lid or the socks that get lost in the dryer like seriously where are they going <laughs> so um all we really have left are like the smaller tupperware cups and hubby doesn't like that like he wants like a big drink especially when he gets home from work he works in a stone yard um he's out in the heat all day especially now that it's gotten warmer he wants a big cold drink when he gets home i know who can blame him but i mean the cups only come so big and i bought the plastic ones the white plastic ones they're like the bigger ones that come in a three pack i bought those a week later they're gone these better not disappear i like these <laughs> these were over by the summer section 
and they say summer vibes i love these cups i saw them and i had to have them they have fruit all over them as you know we are all about our fruit and our produce and we love um watermelon and pineapple and all that good stuff so these were just like the perfect cups and it says summer vibes on two sides so yeah i picked up four of them hopefully um they stick around for the summer i'd appreciate it that's for sure <laughs> so that is it for this haul if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up if i went on too long and just talked too much i'm sorry <laughs> um yeah so leave a comment down below let me know what else you guys would like to see if anything um suggesting or suggestive criticism did i say that right maybe i don't know if you have any comments on how to make my videos better please leave them down below um that is more than welcome just remember be nice be nice to everybody no reason to be rude um yeah that's pretty much it so i will be back with a haul from Once Upon a Child and Gabe's. So you guys take care. Stay safe out there. God bless. Love you guys. Bye.